Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Moving to the next topic under the heading of the gases, and uh, this is the uh, kinetic molecular theory of the gases. And actually, this kinetic molecular theory is based on the understanding that what are the reasons for the behavior of the gases. So the kinetic molecular theory is based on the following assumptions. So one by, by one, I am going to explain over here, actually, what are the, the reasons behind the, the behavior of the ideal gases. The first is the, a gas consists of tiny particles, either atoms or the molecules, and which are moving about at random. So they are, there are two points. One, they are uh, having a tiny particles and uh, they are moving in a random way. So if this is the, the case, uh, then the ga gas will be the ideal gas. And uh, this we have done one of the explanation before, like in case of the helium gas. The particles are tiny and they are moving apart. So the helium is going to act as near to the ideal gas. The second is the, the volume of the particles themselves is negligible compared with the total volume of the gas. So most of the volume of a gas is empty space. That means the volume of the gas is negligible as compared to the total volume of the gas. Total volume of the gas means in which the cylinder in which the gas is occupied, that is the total volume. And the volume of the gas as compared to the total volume is negligible. And if it is this, then the gas would follow the uh, ideal behavior and uh, or the, the volume, the most volume of the gas is empty space by using this point. So because there is no intermolecular forces between the, uh, uh, the molecules of the gases. So there are the empty spaces between one molecule to the other molecule. The third point is the gas particle act independently one another and there are no attractive or the repulsive forces between the particles. So this is the, uh, the way I have explained uh, in above. The gas particle act independently one other and this is going to be act independently when there is no attractive or the repulsive forces between the particles. So this we are going to assume there should not be any attractive and the repulsive forces when there is no attractive or the repulsive forces. So one molecule of the gas or one atom of the gas is going to act independently as compared to the other one. The fourth point is collision of the gas particles either with the particles with other particles or with the walls of the container are elastic. So there may be the two type of the collision. One, one particle is going to collide with the other particles. And the second is the one particle is going to collide with the walls of the container. Actually the molecule which are going to uh, collide with the walls of the container are going to exert the pressure and these type of the collisions are called the elastic. Elastic means the total kinetic energy of the gas particles is constant at constant temperature. So total kinetic energy means the some particles are colliding if they are colliding to each other or colliding with the walls of the container, then total energy of these particles and the, with the walls of the container will remain the constant because such if the energy kinetic energy will remain, remain constant such type of the collisions are called the elastic collisions and this is one of the properties of the ideal gas fifth and last point is the average kinetic energy of the gas particle is proportional to the kelvin temperature of the sun so of course if you increase the temperature there is going to increase the kinetic energy of the gas particles so this is 
uh, having the direct relationship with each another because rising the temperature actually it is imparting the energy uh, to the particles and there is increase in the kinetic energy now again i am going to use this kinetic uh, molecular theory of the gases on the uh, three laws which we have explained before boyle's law charles law and the avogadro law actually uh, uh, during the start we have uh, uh, mentioned over here that is the understanding the reason of the behavior of the gases actually this is the kinetic molecular theory so now look at with reason what exactly is the the boyle's charles law and avogadro law following the uh, ideal gas behavior so the first one is the the boyle's law that is look at the this one box and compare with this box the volume is going to decrease so that mean so decrease volume this is called the the boyle's law so the volume is going to decrease at constant number of moles and the temperature so this was the condition for the boyle's law so if you decrease the volume that mean there is increase the number of frequency of the collisions with the walls of the container so therefore it is going to increase the pressure of the gas so actually this is a reason behind this one so whatever there is the uh, inverse relationship between the pressure and the volume and this kinetic molecular molecular theory is going to describe the reason why there is the inverse relationship between the pressure and the volume so here the number of moles are constant and the temperature is the constant and when you decrease this pressure uh, sorry when you decrease this volume moving from this box to the smaller box that mean now the molecule of the gases are constrained in a less volume and that mean there is the increase in the frequency of the molecules or the frequency of the collisions between the molecules as compared to the initial stage and where there is more increase in the frequency of the collisions with the walls of the container and this is going to increase the pressure of the gas so these are both inversely proportional to the each other now moving to the second point explaining the charles law by using the kinetic molecular theory so this is the by increasing the temperature so if you can uh, uh, see over here the box of this with this when you increase the temperature and the volume is going to increase so look at the the shape or the volume of the box this is going to increase from the initial stage so increasing the temperature that mean now you are going to increase the kinetic energy of the gas so again we are going to keep two other variable constant that mean the number of moles and the pressure pressure that's for the one atmosphere and the number of moles are also the same so when you increase the temperature the kinetic energy is going to increase which is going to increase the volume of the gas the third is the look at the uh, over here again there is uh, one uh, instant uh, uh, observation over here there is increase in the volume and uh, this is by increasing the number of moles there are less moles now you are going to increase the number of moles again in these two cases number of moles are the same and uh, but the behavior or the variable in both of the cases is different and here you are going to increase the number of moles and what is happening over here by increasing the number of amount of the gas at constant now the temperature and the pressure the volume of the gas will increase as given over here 
So this is the explanation given through the kinetic molecular theory. Again, explanation of the three laws, Boyle's law, Charles law, and the Avogadro law. And this is all about our little lecture.